plant-based water filter keeps heavy metal where it belongs, in music, and out of our drinking water. And a recently discovered genetic switch keeps your immune system strong when fighting long-term disease. And scientists have developed artificial photosynthesis that lets plants grow in complete darkness. Hey, Snap Science, this is Bite Size Content. A filter made from vegetable oil byproducts can filter out heavy metals from drinking water. Currently, filtration technologies are energy intensive, require power to operate, and are selective in the metals they filter. But this plant-based alternative, derived from proteins in sunflower and peanut oil, could have the potential to be a low power, sustainable, and scalable solution. Heavy metals represent a large group of water pollutants that tend to accumulate in the human body over time causing cancer and other mutagenic diseases. The plant proteins work by being processed into nanorope-like structures, which almost act like a molecular net, trapping heavy metals as they pass by. In other news, a genetic switch has been found that helps your immune system go the extra mile when fighting illness. When fighting chronic infections, or cancer, a phenomenon called T-cell exhaustion occurs, which makes T-cells, a critical part of your immune system, less effective over time. But now, researchers have isolated the gene that are the cause for T-cell exhaustion. Treatments like cancer immunotherapies have been transformational for a portion of patients, but for many others, they don't currently work due to T-cell exhaustion. The genetic switch is a major step forward in immunobased treatments for long-term illnesses. And in plant news, we all know about photosynthesis. The plant will turn carbon dioxide, water, and the sun's energy into carbohydrates that it uses to grow. But researchers have found that by using a two-step electrocatalytic process, that a plant's fuel can be made with a different type of energy, electricity. The process creates acetate, a primary component found in vinegar. The process is so effective that researchers believe that acetate-based growth could be more efficient than sunlight for select foods. This could be especially useful in regions that experience long periods of dark, like some parts of Norway or Northern Canada. Once implemented, the system could allow plants to grow without sunlight, more effective than ever before. So what do you think? Could you see any of these technologies being used in your everyday life? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.